Okay. Hello, hello. I'm making fried flounder, escovitch with a nice salad. And possibly some steak fries. If I'll be frying. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, let's get started here. So, I have some flounder here. Okay. Dry, I patted it dry with the um, paper towel so it don't wet the flour, I mean, the cornmeal up. Now, this cornmeal I'm using is Handy's, and it's already seasoned, so you don't need anything because if you season this, it's going to be very salty. But this is so, so good. And I mixed it with regular cornmeal as well. In about maybe uh, a half a cup, if I had to measure, of flour is in here, okay? So, we're going to fry these up. This is for the hubby. He likes to found it. And I'm going to show you how to make my version of Escovich. Yes, good bitch. Always get the excess off. The excess. The excess. 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 Right? And these don't take long to fry because it's kind of thin like. Yeah. Always. Right? Take this show on the road. Pat it dry so that your uh so it don't wet your um meal up your cornmeal or whatever you're using for your batter. Because if it wets it up it's not good, you know? And when you put it in the pan to fry, it crumbles up like mm -mm. it breaks away from the fish, it doesn't stay. So I'll be careful of that. Throughout against the Bills on Sunday, Barkley and the Giants will face the run. But you better believe the home crowd will be looking for more action. We'll take that. Right. This is the easy fry here. You know, everybody knows how to fry fish. I ain't really showing you nothing. All right, so. You know, he never would have left if the Jim Kelly era didn't happen. And he shipped out of town and, and he, he's loving me back in Philadelphia. Now, right. he gets on on that one and then a little bit later, I'm on another bomb. It's 55 points, 16 yards. I just want to go to Texas and And don't overcrowd Japan, okay? Remember, this fish fries quick. <laughs> Move it back a little bit. You see, it fries quick. Look at that. Tiny, tiny, quick. Um, see when the edges curl up like that? I need to push mine down a little bit, though. Yeah. Push it down, though. Yeah. Yeah. Let it fry. And then while that's frying, let's work on the salad here. So I have some iceberg lettuce that I'm going to take and rip apart. And it's going to go in with this Asian uh, salad kit. I'll show you in a minute. Somewhere somebody said don't use a knife when you're doing your uh, lettuce. 
Just use your hands, it tastes better. I forgot where I heard that from, but I did hear it somewhere years and years ago. I heard that. I don't know whose kitchen I heard that from. So with this, I like this. Right? So we're going to blend it in. We like a lot of salad. Right? Blend that in there. I'm probably going to boil some eggs later. Okay, I think we need to turn our fish over. Okay, let's come back. Let us see. Yeah. That's hot. See how nice that color is? Let's do the salad. Back to the ranch here. Okay. So we're going to blend this in. Right? And I'm going to put some walnuts in here. I usually have cranberries and all kinds of stuff to go in here. Might just break them up a little bit. Right? I should have bought the eggs ahead of time, but how did that go? Should have worked better. Should have worked better. Right? And you don't want to overpower it with too many, right? And then we're gonna put some raisins in. I think I have any tangerines left. I like to put those in too. Okay. Let me just see. Let me take a look. These are on sale, too. Oops, wash them off. Uh-oh. Go back to the fish, because we do not want to overcook it. Look how pretty that is. Golden brown, right? Put it on the paper towel to catch the oil. You don't want to be chewing a bunch of grease, swallowing a bunch of grease. So you want to make sure you have a paper towel, a bag, whatever you have. All right? Get as much of the grease off as you can. Hey, Winston. My buddy. Okay, now we have two more to go. And then we're going to make some Escovitch. Winston. Okay. All right, so while that's doing that, we're going to come back and we're going to finish off this salad here, okay? Add some more. What's up, Winston? Yeah. 
Okay, I'm gonna put some onion. There's my knife. I got I'd like to cut that off of there. I'm gonna put some onion in. Right, wait a minute. Just watch it. <laughs> All right, Winston. Yep, nice and thin. Sometimes I um I dice them too. Sometimes it depends. Break them up a little bit. Nice and thin. Oh, I wish I had my um tangerines to go in here. Mm. Then I have like cranapples in there and mm, sometimes I put strawberries. Make it nice for a little fruit in here. Okay. Right. So I'm gonna go back over here and take a look. I'm not gonna bring the camera with me this time. Winston! <laughs> My best friend. My best friend, Winston. Okay, cucumber. This I cut like in four, right? Right? Like in four. And I'm excited to make my fish, my escovitch. I love red snapper. Oh my god, I love red snapper. I love this about all fish. So. Um, it's about all. I'm going to put some more tomatoes in this one. Bring it alive. Alright. There we go. Take your hands and incorporate everything. Always. I will expect my. <laughs> you got it. If I can get it to you, you already know. Okay, let's put some more tomatoes in. I like a lot of tomatoes. Oh, I might have just used the whole thing. What's the sense of holding back six more? I like a lot of tomatoes. Okay, so we're gonna clean up this mess a little bit and we're gonna turn this fish over. And another way you can tell if your fish is ready to start floating. Well, I left this in the freezer too long. So it, was, it was a scotch bonnet, but I'm still use some of it. Wait a minute, let's turn this over. See it? Let's turn that over. Come on. We're doing some traveling back and forth here. Okay, this comes with the uh, salad pack, sunflower seeds. All right? And some bacon bits. And let's do it again. Take it from the bottom to the top. Turn it over, bottom to the top. That way you have an even distribution of everything. And there you have it. I am going to 
brought some eggs to put in here. But basically, that's it for that. And let's make some escovitch. Mmm. Excited for it. Yummy to the tummy, baby. Yes, sir. Yummy to the tummy. Okay. Gotta clean up as we go here. Let's get this fish out. See, because when it's thin like that, you gotta be careful. You don't want to fry it so hard that, you know, you don't get no fish inside of it. It'd be, it'd be so crunchy and bunch of nothing. You'll get no fluffiness. Okay. That's the flounder. Now we're going to do the snapper. This is a nice size, too. And I cook it with the head on and then take it off. This gives a lot of flavor. Hi, um, Missy Louise. How are you? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I do. I do. I love it. See? Washed it and it slit right here. Right, so a lot of good seasons go up in here. Now again, this this here is already seasoned. So and it, and it's so good. The season is pretty perfect. Okay, so let me turn this down a little bit. So let's go ahead and season it. And once this is done, I take the head off. You know, I know some people eat it, but uh, not this girl here. We ain't doing it. We're gonna do this. We're gonna put it in there. Right? And again, you dry this off. I'm fine. Thank you. I am fine. Okay. You hear it sizzling? And then we always shake this off. So since I have four of these, I'm gonna do two at a time. Hey B, how are you? And I'm gonna show you. See that scissors on here? Can you see that? Wait, there it go. I got a habit. I got to keep wiping the stove off when I'm frying. That's a habit. That's right. Like my, like my husband. Don't complain about me if you ain't going to My, my do husband it. having it greased up down yeah, here, boy. He be frying chicken. I'm like, poor stove. Oh, the stove catches it. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm like, never mind. Don't do it. I'll do it just because he murders the stove. So, I'm going to show you guys what I have for the rest of it. I'm going to put this salad in the refrigerator. That's that one. Hey, Renee. Oh, my goodness, my cousin Renee. Hi, Renee. Mm, mm. How's it going? Ah, that's my beautiful cousin. Beautiful. I think this is about the last of it, so I'm gonna cover the salad up and put it in the refrigerator. And then when I boil the eggs, I'm just gonna slice it and put it on top of it. So you're not missing nothing there. But you can dress your salad any way you want to. You know, use what you have. Also, okay, so nice and tight. I burnt the top of this. I was cooking and busy talking and I sat the um the top to the Pyrex on the burner. Escovitch is like a fish 
that you have you um, sauteed peppers and onions, a little vinegar. I'm going to show you what you use for it, Missy. Okay, so I have here three sprigs of thyme. And here I have the different color peppers, the red, the orange, and the yellow. I have a half a cup of vinegar. You can use white or dark. I'd rather have the dark because it's more flavor. This is a tablespoon of sugar. Then I have julienne carrots that I just sliced it up and julienne it. And I have onions. I have sea salt, allspice, and minced garlic. So, once the fish is done, I take it out, then I saute all the veggies you just saw with the garlic, with the onion, I mean with the uh, vinegar and with the, um, the sugar and, and you just incorporate all that, let it simmer. Then you take, put, leave the veggies in there, then you put the fish back on top and just simmer the fish a little bit. And it's called escovitch. It's a Jamaican dish like, uh, yeah, this I got this recipe. This is not my recipe, by the way, okay? I got this recipe um, online, and it's not mine, but I've learned to perfect it, though. I always say give credit where it's due, okay? You must have learned that from a Jamaican. I did. I did, Winston. Chef Ricardo. Uh-huh, I did. So this isn't my recipe. Mm -mm. Now, my sister, she knows more about this, but it's so good. I've done this before, you know. I've made this before, and I love it. It is so, so good. Like with all the peppers on it, and the, oh my goodness, the flavor. It's just good. Really good. I just turned that fish over. Uh, and then you can put, um, I'm going to peel some of the Scotch bonnet pepper. I'm just going to pull a little bit of this off. Oh, you would love it. Missy, you would love it. I wish you could taste this. I would love for you to have some of this. Is IMC rehearsing tonight? I think they was, I think I heard, or is it next week? I'm not sure. Ah. So, once I finish frying all the fish, I'm going to pour them, the majority of the grease out. And we use the same grease the fish fried in to, to saute the veggies in. It's frying really nice. Want to make a nice golden brown. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I really love this. And I love red snapper anyway. Yeah, so I'm going to uh, coat the last two. You see how it opens up too? So with the slits on the side, it's also the clean the inside too, so you know. You slit it too so you can clean up in here. You know, there's a lot you could, that pulls out of here that you want to get out of here. Yep. Okay. And then I'm gonna put a little lemon juice on here as well. Once it's all in the pan. Put some lemon juice on there. Okay. Alright. So I'm gonna wash my hands off here. Okay, right there. 
Okay. Let's see what the fish is doing. See how it opens up right here? And all you do is just pull it, see, just take it right off. It comes right off. And I use my hands a lot. Like, don't do it if you're not used to that kind of heat. Mm -hmm. And that's frying really good. So right after the second, the, the next two we're done, then we put the, um, incorporate everything else in here, okay? And you, you can do this with other fish. You don't just have to use snapper. Snapper is used a lot in it, though, but you can use any fish you want. I just like snapper. I wonder what a porgy would taste like in a croaker. I'm going to try it with, I'm going to use a um, porgies and croak for the next one to do. It got to taste good. I mean, I just think a lot of people like peppers on your fish. Oh my God, it is so good, y'all. I'm telling you. And it's quick, too. Don't take much of nothing. You know, it's quick. Let me put this thyme right here. Y'all know I love my thyme and my rose, my fresh herbs. Thyme and rosemary and all that good. All the fresh herbs, I love it. Yeah. And if you, you can use as much garlic as you want. I like garlic, but I'm not like a real garlicky kind of person. I don't want my stuff overpowered. Like, then your breath is stained. Nah. I don't like it like that. Okay. Felt like it wasn't frying good for a minute there. All right, we good. A few more, and we'll take that out and put the other one in there. And stop, so. And I think the next thing that I'm gonna be doing is, um, I think it's a pork roast. And uh, I make this, um, I make this wet rub to go on it. I use my um, blender. And I put a lot of different seasonings, peppers, um, onions, put a lot of pimento seeds, vinegar, sugar. Uh, there's so many things that go into it. This is a wet rub. Not, you know, you go make a dry rub. Well, I'm messed around with some different seasons and different things, and I come up with something that tastes so good, you know? Um, I don't know if y'all seen, I showed you how to make a green seasoning. I, I, it's on one of my videos on YouTube. You can go to YouTube, Missy, and see a lot of my videos um, in the kitchen with Cindy. Renee, you guys, the rest of you guys know, you can go on YouTube. That's where this is going to be uploaded to. I, when I when I record it here, I upload it to uh, YouTube. In the kitchen with Cindy. Yeah, I'm always taking a hiatus, though. You know me. <laughs> hey, cuz. Violet. Yeah, so we're making escovitch right now. That's red snapper with onion peppers. I'm going to show you. Right now we're frying the red snapper. You just in time, I'll show you how to make this. this and, I, and I do it like, I got it from Chef Ricardo, right? But I do some stuff my way with it too, like, because this is not my original recipe, you know. And I tell y'all that when you're doing something that's not yours, don't say that this is your, you know. I just do a little something different with mine, but I got it basically from Chef Ricardo, and I wanted to make it mine, so that's what I did. But originally, this is not my recipe. I just tweaked it a little bit from what I saw him do. Okay, we're gonna get ready to take this out and put the next two in. Okay. And always make sure that you have a paper towel or something to catch your grease. Okay. 
So here's the last two. I only did four pieces. So here's the last two. All right. Okay. There we have it. And this I can still use. I'm going to pour it back in my bag that it came out of. Because after all, it's for fish only. So I'm going to pour it back in here. Right? Because it's not wet. That's why we dry the fish off. We cut the fish dry. And that way you can, you know, save what's left. And I get the air out of it and just roll it back up and put it back in the refrigerator. All right? Um, all right? Okay. Well, you know, clean up as you go. Clean up as you go. If I don't do it, I make a mess. I spill everything. I'm clumsy. Everything gets spilled. And then as I put the mixture around, we're going to put some lemon in there, which is always good. Right. Okay. And then that's it. Oh, uh, yeah, so here's my scotch bonnet that I left in the freezer too long, right? I can still use it, though. So it may not have that fire kick to it, which is good, which is good. So it'll be tolerable. I'm just going to take and slice a little bit of it and put it in the pan with the rest of the stuff here. Mm -hmm. Yep. So let's get this stuff ready. And I'm using sea salt. I, got, I like my pink salt, the Himalayan salt, but I have to order some more. I haven't seen it in the store with a decent price on it. And I took a whole carrot and I julienned it. You see? Just slice it then. Just slice it then. And the onions, I sliced these thin too. Mm -hmm. And the peppers and the thyme smell good already. Mm. Yeah. So I hope everybody's doing fine. Had a good weekend and having a good Monday. Any power watches on here? Power? Who watches power? Yes, it's good. And I'm gonna watch um the Bachelorette tonight. I like I mean the Bachelorette, Bachelor Paradise. I like that stuff. Married at first sight, I like all that stuff. That'll be it, man. Yep. We're all in that TV. Ratchet television they call it. Guilty pleasures, right? Ain't nothing wrong with it. Yep, so, okay, so like I said, so I think this week I'm going to be doing that pork roast, right? And, um, with this sauce, but I tried something else out, too. It's a different kind of sauce I'm going to put on there that I mix a few things together. And, hey, Samara, that's another cousin. My, my niece, rather, cuz. Lord have mercy. I called you my cousin, and you're my niece. I'm looking at Cousin Violet. <laughs> But anyway, I took some different sauces and I put together. And I, uh, for some reason, I'm using a lot of vinegar and stuff. But I use a good organic vinegar and stuff. So, but anyway, it's good for you too. It takes the acid out of things. And uh, it's a good sauce I'm gonna put on there. Really good. So I'm excited to make that. And of course, with that, I'm making my greens and my mac and cheese and some cornbread, some soul food. You know, I'm addicted to them collard greens and mustards and turnips, right? The craving is getting like this right now. I don't have no more in the freezer. You know that. I got to get them. You know that. Like, I 
gotta have them greens. I eat greens every day. I don't have any more. I ate them all. Hubby don't eat them like I eat them. But my mother do. And my mother, we keep out them greens, I'm telling you. I said, Mom, what you cooking? I got some greens and I got some um, um, bread on top of the stove, you know. Some pan bread. Yeah. Got them greens, honey. So full down, southern down. I love it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's check on the fish. Let's see what we got here. Can we turn? Yes, we can. You see that color there? Yes, we can. See that color? Again, I'll be telling you, don't use your hands like that unless you know how to take that heat. This is a habit. This is years and years. But I ain't going to do it if it's too hot, of course. But, you know, don't do it. Don't do that. I shouldn't be doing it. One of these days, I'm going to learn my lesson, probably. But I've been doing this for so long. I'm going to lay the white stuff down as I'm going. I tell you, I can't fry without wiping this stove down as I'm doing it. I got it bad. Look at that. Moving the pot. <laughs> the pan. <laughs> I can't help it. Can't help it. So, I am going to get something to pour the grease off. So, also, when you pour your hot grease into the glass, you put a spoon in there and it won't crack your glass, okay? Use a spoon. So I'm gonna pour it in here until it cools off, then I'll put it in the in the container I have. It's plastic. So, because I have to pour half of that grease off. But so it doesn't crack my glass, put a spoon in there. And it won't crack it. Trust me, it just won't do it. It won't do it. It won't do it. I'm gonna cut up. This pepper now. I'm gonna see how much pepper I'm gonna use. Not a lot. And I'm gonna take and put it on top of the other peppers. I'm gonna do it like, like that. Cause these babies can be really hot. You wanna enjoy it. You know how people are eating that hot stuff, sweating and snotting and still eating? Ew. Uh, uh. Hey, Cram, how are you? my buddy Karen Cram right there. We used to be get together cook in the kitchen a lot. We make hot wings and stuff. I'm Karen. Oh, good times. Good times. Okay. So I'm just cutting like this is Oh my God, yes. It's just as hot as it want to be. Mm. Oh, the did not take the heat off of it. Ah. Okay, that's enough for that. I'm gonna wrap that back up. <laughs> mm. I just wanted a little kick, not a whole lot. So I'm gonna put it back and reuse it again. So when I do the greens this week, you said good, you guys? That means good. Good. I'm glad you're doing good. Okay. So let me just take another look. Let me let you guys see. Remember I showed you how it opens up? Right? It's hollow in here. Uh -huh. And this comes right off. All you do is just take it and it comes right off. You can like, you don't even have to cut it, you know? It just comes right off. So once it, you know, I don't eat it like this, I take that off. 
So we almost done here, let me say. Yeah. Okay. And another thing, I didn't do it, but you can sear it. You can take and slice it, just slit it, slit it. I, I forgot to do that, but it's not too late. So I'm going to take these and do just that. I forgot to do it. It's not too late to do it because you want all the seeds when you go into that. So I'm just going to take and do it now. You see what I just did? I did it here and there. I knew I was forgetting to do something. And that way, when I put all the good stuff on it, it all the seasoning and the juices, it'll go in the fish itself and give it a good, good flavor. Okay, so we're going to take this out now, okay? I'm going to keep that right there. So I'm going to let it drip the grease. Let it drip off. It's a lot there, you see it? Okay. Okay. Then I'm going to take this and pour it into here. Remember, use the spoon so you don't crack your glass, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to use about that much grease and I'm going to turn it down. See, my glass did not crack because I used a spoon. Okay, be right back here. Let me rinse this washcloth off. Okay. Now let's put the ingredients in. Let me get my uh, spoon here. Okay. We're going to do the peppers in the time. And the peppers are going to give that fish grease a taste out of this world. Yes, sir. And a little bit of minced garlic. Like I said, I'm not that into a whole bunch of garlic. I make just a hint, you know, depending on what I'm making. Okay, we're going to put some pimento seeds. This is all spice. About seven to eight of them. Right? Put some sea salt in. And you do it to how much you like. Wait a minute. Okay. You don't want to overdo it. Right? Put the onions and the carrots in. Right? Give it a good stir. And it smells real good in here, I'm telling you. It smells so good. Okay, here's a tablespoon of sugar. And here's close to a cup of the vinegar. And that's how you make the sauce for the Escovitch. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
And we let this simmer real good. Uh, little lemon juice. Um, where is it? I'm looking for it. One of these days, I'm going to clean out this season closet here. I can't ever find that I'm looking for. Okay. Oh, you can smell the vinegar. Mmm. Oh, man, that smells good, y'all. That smells really good. That. Mmm. I was looking for my pepper, I can't find it, so I'll just use the shaker. I don't want to use but a little bit anyway. Mmm. Smells really good. Mm. I'm going to taste one. Mm, mm, mm. That's so good. And with the sugar on there, it breaks it down really good. But I need a little more salt. I think I might do it. And while that's doing that, I'm going to cut and sear the other piece of, um, let me move that out the way. The fish that just came out, I need to take and sear that. Because it's going right back in the pan. Let's do this one. It'll be going right back in there for a few. Which is almost ready to go back in. So let's see. So this is what we want. See that? That's what you want. And you want to leave a little crunch. You don't want it too soft, okay? You want a little crunch. Look at that. And the pimento seeds give this flavor like, oh my God. It's like, it, it's sweet, but not sweet, sweet. It's the best flavor ever. Okay, so we let it get that little boil in there. Mm -hmm. Got another stair here. Mm. Okay. So now, we take and bring it back. Right. And we do this for about a good maybe five minutes. And there you have Escovitz. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yummy to the tummy. Mm. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. Yes, that is Escovitz, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. It's going to be really good. Good with the salad. And hopefully help you come and make some steak fries for us. Huh? Yes, sir. Look at that. Woohoo! And 
It smells heavenly, divine. That smells really good. That's going to be good. So, now you have it. Now, there's a lot of ways you can make this. There's no right and there's no wrong. Sorry, Ben, it's the connection tonight. I will try another time. Okay, Karen. So, there's a lot of ways to make this, okay? You can do it without the vinegar. You know, you can just do it with just the peppers, you know? Uh, saute your peppers and then put it on here. You know, oh, what was this at? Yep. There's so many different ways to do this. And again, there's no, everybody has their own take on how to cook anyway, right? But just remember this, if you don't remember nothing I tell you, don't claim somebody else's recipe if it ain't yours. If you made it yours, that's another thing. Always give that person props where you got it from, because in return they'll do that for you, okay? So, because you know, you never know who's watching you. You mess around and say, oh, this is mine, and I see it's mine, I'm gonna call you out, okay? I'm gonna call you out. So, do things the right way. Be honest and enjoy. This is about loving what you do, okay? And I love it. I don't get paid for this. I love it. If I can share some stuff, if you want me to do make some stuff, I mean, ask, leave me some notes, type some stuff on the way, on on the site here. Let me know. Let me know if you like what you see. You know, let me know what's going on. How am I doing? Let me know. Okay? That's what it's about. It's about interacting as well. So, but yeah, if you have any requests or something, let me know and I'll be glad to do it. Um, if you want any recipes, just go to YouTube. In the Kitchen with Cindy and there's a whole lot. There's over 100 recipes of mine on there. Mm -hmm. So let me let you guys see it. That is Escovitch. Oh, it smells so good. Let me get it. Yep. Let it stay there for a few. And uh, there you have it. There you have it. So I'm going to clean up. And I'm going to leave this on for another few minutes. And um, that's what it is. Yeah. If you're here and you want some, let me know. If you're in Harrisburg. Let me know, and I will get. I will bring you some of this. Yes, I will. If you know me, you know you're gonna get some of that, right? So let me know. Leave me a message or something, and I'll make sure you get some. All right. So you already signed off. It felt good to be back. I've been gone for a minute. It felt real good to be back. Thank you guys for watching. I love you. Continue to support me. Okay, and I'll continue to do what I do. Mwah.